we had a wonderful presentation of a study of a bowel parotide. Some of you may not know what a bowel parotide is, but it's a new preparation of parathyroid hormone that when it connects to the receptor on the osteoblast stimulates bone formation. And last year a wonderful study was done in postmenopausal women that showed that 18 months of treatment with a bowel parotide significantly increased spine and hip bone density and reduced both vertebral and non-vertebral fractures. And that was in the whole study population of patients recruited with osteoporosis. What we saw was a little bit of a different uh, analysis, a secondary data analysis, where we looked at age, the severity of the bone osteoporosis, and whether people, the subjects had a fracture or not. What was very interesting was a valparatide work to increase bone mass and reduce both vertebral and non-vertebral fractures in both the young and the old. If the bone density was on the upper limits of low, like minus one, all the way to osteoporotic, and if the individuals enrolled in the study had a fracture. So that was really comforting to know that if when we're hoping that this medication is approved in the late spring, that we'll know the patient population that we can uh, use it. Yeah, so when we evaluate patients for osteoporosis, one of the most important things is their bone density because when it reaches a T-score of the spine or hip below minus two, we know we have osteoporosis. However, individuals that actually um, are older, even if their bone density is not at that level of minus 2.5, they still have a risk of fracturing and actually the older they get, they could fracture at higher bone densities. So again, this study was important to myself and my fellow clinicians because we see patients who've had a fracture even though their bone density is not below that minus 2, we know they have osteoporosis or fragile bone and then this is a this medication is one that will help us to increase bone mass and strength in these patients.